I guess this might be a little quick snippet for a possible vlog. I don't know. Probably about to go down to the folks' house, get some stuff. I want to do some shooting, but bullets are expensive. Well, not those right there. These, I need to shoot this. My 300. And I need to shoot that again. Because the footage that I have, that I might upload in just a second. Yeah. It's pretty mid. But I need to shoot that. Because I haven't shot that. Hell, I haven't shot that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I haven't shot none of them. And I need to shoot that. But I don't know. I don't know. This is also like, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of funny thing. Of all the days that it's actually overcast today. Man, I needed to wash my car. Hopefully it still is overcast once I get to the folks house. I think I still have some car wash stuff down there. Man, it would have been a great day to do it this morning. Wait, oh, and clean out the dang my garage. It is a mess. But we shall see. If anything, I'll try and knock some of it out tomorrow. But man, after working all day, sweating all day, driving in this race car, and then doing some in the garage when it's 100 degrees, nah. Also, still getting used to this new phone or whatever, which is, you know, it ain't super new, but it's new to me, obviously. But, uh, I'm digging the, uh, it takes real good pictures. As far as it seems, it takes real good audio. Well, it takes real good audio. It takes real good videos. And the audio is pretty good on it. And this is the front facing camera. I don't know how many megapixels it is. But I know the rear one is like 18. I don't know. I know it's, it's, it's a shit ton. It's basically like in pro mode. Um, but yeah. I had to upgrade it because my other one, the dang charger port, finally messed up. So I need to order that and figure out how to replace the old charger port. Because it's still a good phone and everything because it records in 4K and this right here records in 8K. Well, it's pretty dang neat. But yeah, head on down to the folks' house. Uh, I hate that I wasn't able to make the dang battery box for the Bel Air. Just been super busy at work. And either super busy or it always slips my mind to look around at my toolbox and say, damn, there's a piece of aluminum that I need to go over there and bend and TIG up. But I, I'll make it. I'll make it and take it out there. Even if I got to take it in the middle of the week, I don't care. But, um, but yeah, go down, hang out with the folks for a little bit, watch the street outlaws. Might put the hood on the Bel Air. See how that air looks. And I need to start designing the interior, so I might start doing that this upcoming week. I just gotta get in the mood for designing and stuff. I can't try and force myself to draw something because it never will come out right and I'll never be happy with it. But, I don't know. Well, at least I get to look at my other purchases that I did or partnered with by that Winnebago. Here they are. Finally got them. Finally. There's that red thing. Yeah. Just a little quick update. Need to start back working on this guy. All that brand new stuff in there. Hmm. There's a red bumper to my Camaro. There's a front balance to my Camaro. The baby seat to a not my baby. Pop said he wants to try and sell this right here. I told him no. We ain't getting rid of that guy. Not at all. Had a family friend want the four door. That car runs. Well, all of them run. I need to start back working on that. We'll just probably get on that after we get done with a Nova. And not that Nova. Finally was able to buy that one. Finally was able to buy that one. And that is Mr. Lloyd. The guy that used to do everybody's interior in Burke County. Again, I need to start back working on the old Chevelle. Pop's got some of the trim on the Bel Air. Looking, looking good, looking good. I 
Yeah. How about that workbench? That's Nova. We'll get back on it sometime. I got the inside of the hood painted. That's pretty good. Again, if I was here, it'd be a little bit better. But he did best he could. I need to clean that air up. But yeah. He's getting there. If I didn't have to go handle certain things at my house, whatever, I'd probably put the hood on it. But yeah, it's getting there. It's going to be a nice car. Still got to find the wheels, or find some wheels, but man, things are expensive. And I say the wheels that I want is probably going to be about $4,000. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. Got a design interior for it. This console that I bought, I got to figure out another way to get um, some different vents. But I'm sure they got different vents that can go to our air conditioning unit up under the dash. And then I got to make a little panel to go at the bottom, whatever, and house the other vents. But I don't know if we're going to do uh, bucket seats in the rear or not. Because if we do, then might get my buddy Tim Ratkins to uh, build onto that console and have it go all the way to the back and everything. Like a little waterfall. That'd be look that look nice. But yeah. She's getting there. Load these projects. Yeah, once I get everything drawn up all the interior. Because basically that's the same uh console. I got dropped into here. I don't know if I'm gonna do diamond took again, which I love the way Johnny did this after I designed it for him, picked out the colors. He brought my envision to life. But yeah, I gotta get a low car shifter for that one over there. But yeah. It's gonna look pretty jazzy. I also gotta design the trunk. But take a look at the wheels. I'm glad we was able to find these. Well, not find them. Our buddy, uh, Lil and Ben John Barefield had these. That's pretty good lip right there, boy. Yeah, like our little toys.